Hey, and welcome to the newest SMS bump video. Today, we're talking about contact lists and customer segments. More specifically, how to create new subscriber lists and how to segment your customers based on their activity and personal data in your Shopify store. The main difference between the lists and segments is that the contact lists are static, while your segments update dynamically as your SMS subscribers perform different store actions. So, the first and most simple task is to create a new list. Go to lists and segments in your SMS Bump app menu. You'll see three predefined entries, one for your default text marketing lists and two segments of engaged and converted customers. Let's focus on your text marketing list. This is the place where all of your new subscribers will go by default if you don't specify another list. This is where you can view the phone number, name, email address, and the source of subscription for all of your contacts. Now, let's go back and show you how to create a new customer segment. Click the button here and choose segment from the type. Enter a relevant name based on what kind of segment you're creating. For instance, inactive customers. Click create and you're ready to start narrowing down your audience. Now you can use the drop down to select the kind of filter you want to start with. As you can see, you have tons of segmentation options like customer behavior, personal data, location, text message engagement, and integration data from other Shopify apps. Since we're creating a segment of inactive customers, we're gonna go with a filter called not ordered since. Specify the time period and you'll get all the subscribers in your store who signed up for text messages and match this kind of criteria. This means that we can now create a personalized and targeted campaign for all subscribers who haven't made any orders in our Shopify store in the past week. As you can see, 14 contacts match the criteria for being in our segment. You can view the subscribers here and you can start a campaign for them right away by hitting the send button here. Now, if you want to go deeper, you can add multiple filters in a single segment so you can narrow down your audience even further. Click on the update rules button and add a new filter. You have geolocation filters that let you target specific countries and states. So let's add a few countries to narrow down our audience so we can personalize our campaign even more. As you can see, the number of subscribers is now lower, but this is a good thing. It means we have a well-defined audience and we're ready to launch a campaign just for them. That's basically it. Once you create your lists and segments in SMS Bump, you can select them for your different SMS marketing campaigns over here. This makes it super easy to build text marketing promotions for narrow or broad audiences that are well-segmented and targeted. I hope this helps. Subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about SMS marketing and Shopify and hit the like button if this video helped you. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.